And a very good day to all my viewers. It is right now Thursday, September 5th, 2024. It is exactly 5.18 p.m. Eastern Canadian time. And this is my premiere video here of uh, the newest mall here in Montreal, the Royal Mount Shopping Centre. So we're going to be visiting this now. And uh, I know this is the part of a lot of us we're waiting for, especially us transit fans. Uh, this overpass, which connects directly here to the De La Savan metro station. Now, just a little note here. De La Savan metro station up until now is one of the quietest metro stations in the Montreal metro system. So it ranks as one of the lowest in terms of, um, you know, pedestrians passing by, commuters passing by. So now it's probably be, going to be getting a boost. So... Uh, we're gonna go inside here in a minute and take a look around, see what we can see. I'll probably do another video eventually on a, a quieter occasion. So uh, let's go check it out here. And uh, just so you know, as I mentioned, this is on the Orange Line, the La Savannah Metro stations right there. So uh, yeah, we'll go inside and check it out here and um, see if we can see some elevators. Uh, I know we got ceiling fan fans as well. And uh, we'll go check it out. Should we take the elevator first or the stairs? Well, we'll take the stairs. Oh, well, you know what? We'll do both. We'll do both. So it looks like this escalator here is uh, not yet functioning. So uh, let's go inside here, guys. So this here, I think it's only two floors. floor. Alright, so here's the second floor now that uh, we're on. So basically, yeah, like I said, you have a choice here of uh, regular stairs, uh, escalator, or you can take uh, the elevator. Here's a view of the Dakari Expressway. And uh, we can even see some plane spotting here if you... Uh, if you're patient enough, uh, some planes coming into Trudeau Airport. Looks like they're still doing some work here. Probably this will be another building uh, possibly related to this. So let's go through this uh, hallway here. Now keep in mind this is day one of the opening, so probably will be busier than usual. So for you uh, fire buffs, emergency vehicle fans, this could be a, a nice place here to film some emergency vehicle action. And just to orientate you, this is facing towards the north, towards Laval. And this over here is facing south, uh, towards the south shore, downtown Montreal. In fact, speaking of emergency vehicles, I did see some red lights. Yeah, there's an ambulance there coming onto the highway. There's a... Uh, STM Nova bus as well. So we'll continue our walk here towards the mall and uh, there's the mall over there. So this overpass is going to take us, like I said, right into the mall and uh, should get a good view of the interior. I'm not sure how big it is on the inside. Uh, well, we got the uh, 100 Cremesy, uh, uh, Nova bus right there. Nice view of the Nova bus. So I'll probably, probably make this a priority upload so that it'll be on uh, YouTube by the morning being Friday tomorrow. Now, what was here before this mall? Well, it was different commercial buildings and whatnot. Uh, I think there was even some factories here at one point. Just as a reference, the uh, Blue Bonnet's horse racing track is just down there. So, if anyone remembers the Blue Bonnet's racetrack, horse racing, that's where it used to be. And uh, so it looks like we're entering the main mall here. 
Now, eventually, speaking of where the Blue Bonnets racetrack is, they are going to develop that whole area eventually into housing and different buildings. So it looks like here we're about to enter the mall. And uh, so, yeah, I must say that overpass is quite cool, very interesting. There's the uh, glass skylights. We'll be seeing them shortly. That's the glass skylights. And uh, here's uh, the main entrance here, I guess. Ah, interesting. So here we are on the inside. Now keep in mind, a lot of the stores here are not yet open. This is only day one. They're slowly going to be phasing them in. Uh, we got we got a BMO here, a bank. We'll go outside later, check out what's there. I think the elevators are the same as we saw earlier, same make and model. So yeah, looks like any other typical mall. Doesn't seem doesn't seem as big as, for example, as uh, Angry On Mall or. Carrefour, Laval, those places. But there it is. I do like the skylights. Now I was, you know, I was wondering, you know, in this age of 2024, you know, is opening a mall really something that's a good idea? I mean, you're hearing all the time about malls becoming abandoned, closing down. And uh, here they are, they just opened this new one, so we'll see. Of course, we do have the uh, Distron, the 1030 in the South Shore, which seems to be a success. Got some plants here, some trees. So yeah, these are, uh, you know, your average stores you'd see in malls. I don't know if I'm going to be able to monetize this video because of the music playing, but uh, it doesn't really matter. I like these big windows that were coming up to here at the end. So yeah, I'm not going to document the entire mall, I'm just going to show what it looks like, you know, the general idea of the mall. I do want to check outside later. I do want to check out, uh, I don't know if there's any glass elevators here, I haven't seen any glass elevators that you see. You know, typically at like Fairview Shopping Center and whatnot. Hang on, it's got to clean my lens here. Yeah, trying to see if we can see any artwork. You know, it would be kind of cool though if they had some sort of, you know, more of a nature type theme to this mall. There's a downstairs too, we'll see what's there later. You know, sort of like, uh, you know, a modern, modern mall with like some kind of greenhouse or something. You know, to incorporate the environment, sustainability. So I guess this is the main, main atrium. This is the center point of the mall. Could be wrong. Let's take a look at this window here, see what it's like. And uh, there's the food court over there. Take a quick look at that later on. Let's see the view here. Check out the view from this big window. Uh, looks like there's gonna be some kind of arcade there or something. Yeah, so this is definitely a cool area for, for views, different views of different perspectives that uh, I'm not used to seeing. Hey, look at this, even on the side here they have some cool murals. Looks like they're still doing a bit of work here. I don't know what's going to be put here. Maybe some kind of housing or something. Yeah. So it's kind of strange, you know, like I was saying, it's always, you hear all the time about malls becoming abandoned. For example, Cavendish, which Cavendish Shopping Center, which is uh, just in Cote St. Luke, not far from here. I remember in the 90s, well, I, I didn't really go in that area in the 1990s, but I heard that there was 
much more to that mall than there is now. They actually cut the mall down significantly and put some housing there over the last couple of decades. So we'll see here what this one, how this one ends up. I guess it's a risk, right? It's a gamble. We'll see what's uh, what's outside here, guys. Let's just check out the food court fast. And uh, keep in mind that this mall, as I said earlier in the video, it's still in the beginning phases. So there's your food court opening up now. I assume this is the parking garage. This is probably gonna take you to the parking. Let's take a look what the elevators, for you elevator fans out there. What do the elevators look like? Oh, so here's your typical elevator in the mall. Let's see the parking lot. Get a little break here from the, uh, the noise. Hmm. Uh, elevators are modern. Hey, uh. Oh, actually, this is uh, another floor here. Oh, no, this is, uh, so this is the parking, uh, parking garage here. I wonder if there's stairs. Yeah, we can. Let's go take the stairs. Let's take the stairs so we can see what the stairs. Oh, no, this is the exit. I don't know if there's stairs here. There we are. Let's go. Uh, we'll go back here on the elevator. Still waiting to see some ceiling fans in here. I don't think we will see any. For you uh, ceiling fan fans out there. All right, we'll head, uh, we'll head outside now. See, so we're on the first floor now. This is a different floor than what we were on before. Let's go check out the atrium, guys. We'll see the atrium. Uh, in the middle of the mall here, the center point. You know, me personally, if you want my opinion, I'm not a fan of this. I don't like malls. I prefer they made this into a park, some kind of park or something, or social housing, maybe. I mean, you try to think of the needs, right? The needs of the present. I don't know if a mall is a priority. Yeah, so all these areas here that you guys see, these are all going to be filled in eventually with... Uh, different businesses, different companies. All right, let's take a look outside here, guys, see what we can see. Uh, this here should be a little more interesting for me personally. To have this sort of garden here, this vegetation. It does remind me of, uh, on the REM, what station is that? Du Du Cartier Station. So Du Cartier Station has a cool place outside. When you enter, when you exit the REM, rather, you have this nice little area. So there's your uh, main view of the mall. It looks like there's an outside terrace there. And uh, I'll go over here, walk around a bit. So if you guys like water fountains, I know there's some water fountain fans out there. There's a cool water fountain here. Yeah, so there's a uh, water fountain. Now apparently in the winter time, they're going to be putting up an ice rink here as well. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll definitely be checking that out. So here's your main, main outdoor, I guess you can call it uh, garden or plaza. You want to call it your plaza. So. We got some artwork as well that's supposed to be put up soon. So another fountain here, if you guys like your water fountains. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, pretty much it. Here we have a cool little landscape here. Another nice little work of art there. Not sure if that's supposed to be a fountain or not. Uh, to shut off gas to fire pit. I guess they're gonna be putting fire pit. Oh, maybe that's a fire pit. That's probably a fire pit. So maybe in the winter time, that'll be used to warm. Warm up if you want to warm up. 
Uh, what else do we have here? What else do we have? We're 15 minutes into the video. Let's go up here and see what we got here. And we'll, uh, we'll check out here later, see where that exits to. So if you guys like slides, or if you're uh, a big kid at heart like me, or you have kids, there's a cool slide here. Old school metal slide. So let's go upstairs and check out uh, the view from the top. See what we could see. So yeah, I'll make this, like I said, a priority upload for my channel. So you can see sooner rather than later. Uh, this here, uh, it's probably the view facing, hmm, probably the view facing north. Yeah, there's St. Joseph's Oratory down there. Nice view of the oratory. I'd like to see what the view is from the oratory of this place. Another, so here's another area that's being worked on. This down there, I think, is a relic. This has to be a relic of an old, here, I'll, I'll zoom in, of an old in, industrial building or something. I'll check that out later. That looks like it's a preserved industrial structure. And um, yeah, there's your slide. Pretty cool, pretty interesting design. Uh, here's an overview of the mall here. Yeah, there it is. So yeah, that's pretty much about it, guys. I mean, I'll have to do a more detailed, thorough walk walk through another day. But for this video, it's just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like. I think I'll check out down there later. Actually, we'll do it now because, uh, like I said, it's pretty much what the mall looks like. There's uh, another restaurant here that's about to open. Yeah, so this here, this must be, I, I don't see this being in operation now. Unless this is, was this used to build them all maybe? Ah, check this out guys, we got a cool little uh, a fountain here, look at this one. Nice little fountain there. Yeah, so here's another area, this is the back area. So there's the Cary Expressway, that's where we started. There's the overpass that we came through. And uh, let's see what's over here. Yeah, this must be uh, something they preserved. I, I can't see this being something that they used to build them all with. This this has to be, this was part of an old uh, in, uh, industrial factory or something that was here at one point. I'll have to check the archives and see. We'll go check it out anyway. Yeah, another work of art here. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Very curious to see this crane after. I wonder if they have a year that it was built. Can you go in here? I don't know if you can. Oh yeah, I can. Pretty, pretty colorful display here. So, uh, pretty cool because uh, sort of like a, well it is a rainbow. There's uh, colors that I like, the blue. There as well. All right, let's go check out this old crane here. So again, I'll have to check the archives here and see what company what business was here probably some kind of like I said industrial factory or something would it be cool though if they opened up this this crane and you can go up in the observatory there or the uh, the cab yeah. uh, it's cool they preserved this they they left it here pretty cool piece of machinery But this whole area, you know, in the past was all, in, you know, factories and mills and industri industries. Very industrial area. 
All right, well, I think I'm going to wrap up the video here, guys. So that's pretty much it. So, uh, like I said, I'll do another video another day when maybe it's a bit quieter of the whole whole mall. And uh, maybe I'll film now at least that pedestrian walkway for a separate video. We'll see. All right, guys, thanks for watching. More documenting to come.